You'd think that scandals at the Olympics would be rarer than a monkey getting the COVID virus, but it's actually more common than Leo DiCaprio dating a new supermodel every summer. Scandals at the largest sports meet in the world are nothing new. The Olympics are where dreams come true, but it's also a place where horrifying, shocking things keep happening. In the last hundred years, there hasn't been one game that was scandal free. With international conflicts, doping scandals, boycotts, and massacres, the history of modern Olympics is as complicated as a political drama. So in today's video, we are ranking the top 10 horrifying things that have happened at the Olympics and almost threatened the sanctity of the games. Number 10. The 2008 Beijing Games took place amid alleged human rights violations and anti-Asian racism. China for sure maintained their reputation as the factory of the world, even when it came to Olympic athletes in the 2008 Games. During the Beijing Games, Chinese athletes were reportedly pushed beyond their limit in a bid to win more medals than the Americans. According to a report from the New York Times, a diver lost a retina. Female athletes were pressured to resume training soon after childbirth, and some were even psychologically manipulated by comparing their life's work to nothing if they weren't able to secure an Olympic medal. Meanwhile, in a rather disgusting expression of blatant racism, Spain's men and women's basketball teams got in trouble for making an anti-Asian gesture while posing for an Olympics advertisement. The newspaper advertisement, put out by Spain's Basketball Federation to wish the team good luck in the games, showed all 15 members of the men's team posed against a court floor adorned with a Chinese dragon, pulling their eyes to the sides in what one player said was meant to be a, quote, friendly gesture towards the Chinese. Later, similar photos of the other teams surfaced. The teams insisted the gesture was one of camaraderie, but it was really hard to ignore the obvious humiliating racist undertones. Number 9. Boris Onyshenko's Cheating Scandal, 1976 Montreal Olympic Games. It's one thing to cheat in your gym class for that one extra point, but it's beyond us how world-class athletes think they can get away with cheating at the freaking Olympics, of all places. One of the most famous cheating incidents at the games actually occurred at the 21st edition when Soviet Union pentathlete Boris Onyshenko was discovered to have doctored his fencing sword, or EP allowing him to score points without actually making a legal touch. After being found out by the fellow competitors and officials, Onyshenko was disqualified and sent home, with the disgraced athlete yet to publicly talk about the events to this very day. Number 8. The Brutal Attack on Nancy Kerrigan In 1994, the rivalry between Nancy Kerrigan and Tanya Harding reached a fever pitch at the peak of their figure skating careers. They were fierce competitors who were often pitted against each other by the media, but one of them took it a bit too far. After a practice session for the 1994 US Figure Skating Championships in Detroit, Kerrigan came off the ice and was clubbed with a baton in the right knee by an assailant who immediately fled the scene. In a rather dramatic manner, just a week after the assault, the identity of the assailant came to light. He was a hitman hired by Harding's ex-husband, Jeff Galuli and his friend Sean Eckhart. In a bid to pave the way for Harding to qualify for the 1994 Olympics, they had decided to put Kerrigan out of the competition. Despite the injury, Kerrigan went on to qualify for the Olympics, earning a silver medal in the 1994 games, less than two months after the assault, while Harding placed eighth. In a punishment befitting the crime, Harding was then stripped of her 1994 national championship title and banned from ever competing in U.S. figure skating. Number 7. The Blood in the Water Match, the 1956 Melbourne Olympic Games There's a saying which goes, blood is thicker than water. While it is meant to signify loyalty, the 1956 Games proved to be quite the literal depiction of it. With tensions between Hungary and the Soviet Union already simmering prior to the 1956 Games, Things boiled over during a water polo match that saw Hungarian player Irvin Zador draw blood as players began to throw punches in the final minutes of the game. The sudden violence forced officials to end the game with Hungary declared victors 4-0. They would eventually go on to claim gold with Zador missing the match against Yugoslavia because of the injury. Number 6. Olga Korbut's Heroics Cause Controversy, 
1972 Munich Games. Imagine killing the Olympics with a move that would fatally harm anyone who tried to copy you. At number 6, we bring you Olga Korbut's historic Korbut Flip in Munich, which saw the Soviet athlete win three gold medals in gymnastics. The move, performed on the uneven bars, saw Korbut stand on the high bar, doing a backflip and then re-grasping the bar. It was something never seen before in the sport and was later banned due to the danger associated with performing it. Number 5. Marion Jones Erased from the History Books, 2000 Sydney Olympic Games How would you feel if you reached the peak of your athletic career and then, boom, a single mistake ruins everything you've ever worked for? American-born Marion Jones made history at the 2000 Games when she became the first female track and field athlete to win five medals at the same games. Claiming three gold and two bronze, Jones' history-making efforts were later removed from the record books when she was found guilty of doping during the competition. Quite naturally, she was stripped of her medals. She later pleaded guilty to lying to federal agents about her use of performance-enhancing drugs and was sentenced to six months prison. Number 4. Carl Lewis admits that he took performance enhancers ahead of the 1988 Olympics. Cheating on a test and being proud of it hits different when it's the Olympic stage. For people in the 80s, the Carl Lewis-Ben Johnson rivalry was especially memorable because it was North America's own version of athletics derby, reaching its climax during the 1988 Olympics when Ben Johnson finally beat Carl Lewis by one one hundredth of a second to win the gold medal in the 100 meter sprint. But two days later, the medal was stripped off of him as he failed the drug test. Cut to 2003, after the release of several controversial documents claiming that the USA actually let more than 100 athletes appear in the Olympics even after failing the drug tests, Carl Lewis finally came clean that he was also a beneficiary of this biased system effectively making his double medals in the 1988 games null and void. Number 3. Pressured officials deny Roy Jones Jr. gold, 1988 Seoul Olympic Games. Bribing isn't a new concept when it comes to unofficial dealings. In the boxing final of the 1988 games, American Roy Jones Jr. was clearly seen by many as the winner of the bout over South Korean Park Si Hun. So, when officials declared Si Hun the winner, outrage ensued. Jones Jr. had landed a whopping 86 punches to Si Hun's 32 across three rounds. The difference in shots clearly proved Jones Jr. controlled the fight, but it was later revealed by the officials that they felt pressured to award Si Hun gold after being wined and dined by South Korean officials. Number 2. Ben Johnson wins gold before testing positive. 1988 Seoul Olympic Games. The 100 meter final at the Seoul Olympics might go down as the most infamous race in games history, given that six of the eight finalists have been implicated in doping at some point in their career. But it was Canadian sprinter Ben Johnson who became the biggest loser of the race. After winning the event and bringing his own world record to 9.79 seconds, Johnson's urine test was found to contain stenozolol and thus he was later disqualified. Johnson would return to the Olympic stage in 1992, but would fail to make the 100 meter final, finishing last in his semifinal heat. Number 1. The Terrorist Massacre at the 1972 Games in Munich. 36 years after the 1936 Games were hosted in Hitler's Germany, the 1972 Games returned to the country with Munich as the host city. Eager to change Germany's international reputation, Organizers called the games, quote, the Smiling Games and the Games of Peace and Joy. But the reality fell stunningly short of this goal when Palestinian terrorists broke into the Olympic Village at night and took a group of Israeli athletes and coaches as hostage, demanding the release of Palestinian prisoners and imprisoned German terrorists. Ultimately, 11 members of the Israeli team were killed. The games were rich in symbolism from the start. Just 27 years after the end of the Holocaust, in which 6 million Jews had been systematically murdered, Jewish athletes were returning to Germany to compete under the Israeli flag. The games were halted after the killings, but resumed again 24 hours later, as the show must go on. Have you witnessed the Olympics in person? 
do you think that all major world stages must have skeletons buried in the closet? Let us know in the comments if you know about stranger secrets that can shock the world, and we may just feature a video about it. If you like this video, don't forget to subscribe and smash the thumbs up icon down below. And we'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.